Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name's Cormac. Uh, I'm the founder and director of Dunk Agency. Uh, we're a local marketing agency here based on the Gold Coast. We've got about 13 staff, uh, do over seven figures a year. And uh, we basically help agency owners grow their businesses just from our learnings of building our agency over the last six years now. Um, so today I wanna to talk to you guys about building your organization. And this is specifically for uh, those guys that have, you know, two, three plus staff, you're kind of getting into, if you've got, you've got five staff, you've got 10 staff, this is really gonna help you out. Uh, this is how we look at mapping out our business. And it's really, really important that we've found uh, for you to get as clear as possible on what your next, you know, three, six, nine, 12 months is gonna look like within your organization, what that structure is gonna look like, who's gonna manage what, uh, how many clients can you take, what the cost is of this team, and then how much uh, revenue you should be making off the back of this team, so on and so forth. So I got a little bit of a kind of cool training that I've taken from our program. And uh, it looks like this. So it's kind of just talking about building your organization, the future of your organization. So uh, a lot of stuff here, let's kind of dive in. The way that we look at our organization is a couple of uh, key areas, there's actually four. Okay, so you've got up the top here, generals. Okay, uh, generals are people that basically run the business. Now, a general right now within your agency might just be you, okay? You might just be the director. You might also be, as the director, wearing a ton of hats. You might be the head of growth, uh, which is, you know, acquisition, getting in a bunch of leads, doing lead gen, sales calls. You might also be the marketing director, which is retention, managing staff, managing clients, and things like that as well. Um, as you start to grow, these are two roles that you kind of want to flesh out and, and differentiate because you should have two leaders that are, you know, one's taking care of acquisition and one's taking care of retention. Um, okay, cool, so those are generals, right? You might be just the general within your agency. Uh, below that, you've kind of got captains. Um, so again, if, if you don't have yet generals, um, you might not have captains, and captains are basically just like managers, okay? Managers within your organization. As you start to really scale up the amount of troops that you have, which are essentially roles that are revenue generating, so these troops on the ground are basically the guys on the front lines, they're managing the accounts, they're getting the results for the clients, they're managing the relationships, they've really gotten to know the, their clients' businesses, they've been working with them for years, um, and they're getting all the results, okay? Those are the troops, they're you're like your digital strategists, your creative strategists, your social media managers, that's those guys, okay? Um, the captains, you know, typically what, what people do uh, as they are building out their agency is they themselves, the director sits up as a general, they don't really have any captains yet because they can't really afford uh, any managers. There's no point. They, don't, they can oversee the business uh, and they've just got the troops on the ground. As your business starts to scale, obviously this is a bit of a worksheet for a larger scaled agency. You start to establish these hierarchical states within your business, such as captains, i.e. your managers, and then the generals as well. Okay, so I hope this is all making sense. So what have, what have we kind of talked about? Your generals, your captains, your troops. And then below that, you got your medics. Um, I literally watched Hacksaw Ridge, uh, which is a great movie before I made this training. And then it just kind of all clicked. And I'm like, these are just, it's totally making sense, these uh, analogy type uh, titles. So um, medics are basically roles within your agency that are supporting the agency itself. Okay, so these are not necessarily revenue generating roles like digital strategists managing the accounts. They're more so roles like, you know, administration, um, VAs, brand coordinators, uh, internal social media managers, uh, graphic designers, video editors, um, you know, you might not be, maybe you do have them uh, managing some client work, but it's mainly used internally for the agency's own internal marketing. Hope that makes sense. So those are like the four stages, generals, captains, troops, and medics. Uh, the way that we kind of look at our businesses is, is a, a couple of key things. So first off, like I said before, you might be sitting up at the top, you might just be the director, um, but the captains themselves, uh, what we basically do is, depending on the services that we are offering within the agency, um, we might have one captain, as an example, let's just say we've got a paid um, ads manager. These are not the actual titles that we use. Um, I'm just trying to make it as clear as possible. Um, so you get your paid ads manager, maybe like in our agency, we also offer email. So you get your EDM manager okay um, and then below that you might have your digital strategist and then you might even have a junior digital strategist as well okay um, same with your EDM manager you can have your EDM strategist and then you can have your junior EDM Ooh, you get the point cool 
So, above them, like within our agency, two roles that we really do have is, like I said before, we've got our hog, which is our head of growth, and then we've got our marketing director, um, which is all about you know retention, managing staff, managing clients, and ensuring that we're delivering top quality service and everybody's getting great results. Um, those two roles at the top are really important as you, the director, want to step away from the agency. Those are two roles that, um, especially within our program, anybody that we do coach that kind of get past that eight plus staff range, we start to develop these general general roles as a, not general roles, uh, you being a general, like a proper leader within your agency. Uh, we want to get a hog, we want to get an MD into, into your business. Um, and then as your business really does start to scale up, um, you know, the, the MD can only oversee so many things. So then that's where you kind of want to have your captains that are sending back up reports to that individual, that MD that used to be, you know, you probably within your agency. Um, below that, what I would look to build is some type of admin role. Okay, so the administration role within your team um, is, is kind of key. This is things like, you know, taking care of things like onboarding, um, some, somewhat doing uh, reporting, um, which is kind of taken care of by your troops, but um, your medic, your, your brand coordinator, your administration person, um, is really there to support so many different areas of the business and fill in those gaps. I'm a big process person. We love having processes within our agency, but sometimes you need those certain people to manage those processes and ensure that things are getting done. Um, so having that administration person in there takes a lot of pressure off of usually the leaders, the directors, you, um, and then also some of the uh, troops and captains that are also on the front lines really managing the, the accounts themselves. Okay, so I always definitely recommend people whenever they can uh, get a medic into their business, uh, get one. Whether it's a full-timer, whether they're part-time locally or they're a VA, um, it's definitely worthwhile. Cool, so here's what we do. We've kind of got a rough map out, like let's just say here of your team. Um, over on the right side, what I always did was uh, I kind of mapped out like the costs on a monthly basis for each of these roles. Okay, so what I would implore you to do is ensure you understand at every single stage within your agency, you know how much your team is costing you. Okay, so you know how much your leaders are costing you, you know how much your revenue generating team, which is really just this team here, okay? You know how much they're costing you, and then you know how much your administration team is costing you, okay? Once you understand their costs, you then need to really establish how much revenue this team, this kind of section within your business, this area of your business is bringing in, okay? For the leaders, maybe you've diluted or aimed to at least break even on their wages because as we were building up our leaders, um, we couldn't just take them fully off of accounts and say, sweet, you're just solely a leader. Um, we had to kind of slowly do that. So we, you know, from managing four accounts to two accounts to one account to then no accounts. Um, that's something that we had to do within our agency. So maybe as you're, cause you should always be doing this activity, you know, every quarter, you should be revisiting your organization and rebuilding it essentially. Um, but like, is your leaders, are they currently breaking even? Are they just a little bit less than what the cost is or is it more than the cost is right now? Um, so you could also have no revenue here and that's totally fine because again, it's all getting managed and it's still profitable from the, the captains and the troops down below. When it does come to those captains and troops, understand their cost and understand the total amount of revenue. These guys should be a lot of the, the kind of the force behind the business that supports the entire agency financially. So you really wanna get clear on that. And then for your medics, again, they, you understand your cost. Uh, you understand typically they're gonna be bringing in basically no revenue. But again, we're gonna be totaling all this at the top here. So um, we'll do that in a moment. Um, great, let's measure out then our ROI, okay? Based on our revenue against our costs, what's our total kind of like net profit from these guys and um, take the, divide that by your total revenue, okay? So that's gonna give you your ROI. So whatever that X figure is, okay? Here's the kind of secret that I guess accountants will tell you is like a rule of thumb. Um, but you should, because our main like products that we offer as a service is our team that you know are highly trained uh, individuals that are able to get really great results with your clients. You know that's your product that you're selling. You package it up into a service, but like the, the product is like you essentially leveraging this labor, and the labor is something that you've trained. Um, a rule of thumb is that you want to be getting anywhere between two and a half to three and a half times what your team is costing you. A minimum of two and a half. Okay, so if your team costs you fifty grand, 
right? You should at least be making back over $100,000 in sales, okay? What tends to happen is that people just hire and hire and hire, and it's fantastic that you know you got all the support now, but you didn't you know bring your revenue up at certain levels as well. Um, and then you kind of fall into this position where you're carrying heaps of dead weight. And this activity, what it does is, you know, when you kind of establish, okay, cool, this team's here, I've got heaps of leaders, my troops kind of are making enough, but they're not supporting the leaders, are too top heavy, or maybe you're too bottom heavy with too many uh, medics. As you really start to map this out and then calculate all the costs, if the total is not like a minimum of like two and a half times back what your team is costing you, then you might want to have a look at this organization again and then maybe reconfigure it. And what I tell a lot of our members within our community to do is be completely ruthless, make a new organizational chart and say to them, well, is this, can I take away this role? If I remove this leader and I took away this medic, what would the business look like? What would a total, the total cost be? What would the total revenue be? Um, could I sustain that? Could I support that? And um, you know, as a business owner, especially with an agency, especially just with working with people all the time, you have to be um, decisive in regards to you know how you're looking at building your team because it is the core essence of you know your existence, your team, and you have to make sure that you're managing it correctly. And you only have your star players in the court. Okay, um, everybody else, you, sh you should be sitting on the bench, and that bench should be lean too. Um, you shouldn't have a stack of you know a whole bunch of random people on there that's costing you money uh, week in, week out. Okay, so um, to recap, if you've got a big agency, we kind of have four key elements uh, that we look at building within uh, your business, okay? Establish your generals, okay? Who's gonna be running your company? Uh, beneath that, your captains, your managers, the people that can definitely be on accounts and uh, but also oversee the DigiStrats, the juniors. And again, guys, this list can continue to go down, okay? You can have more people here. Pod them up um, and you know start to apply each part of you know, a lot of the time, even within our pods, we'll have a lot of the guys with the guy brands, a lot of the girls with the girl brands, and we'll kind of just, uh, separate them like that. So you can do whatever you want. Um, and then make sure you kind of have that, yeah, captains and troops structure. Ensure that this middle section, especially with the troops, they are really managing a lot of the money uh, that the agency is bringing in on a monthly basis. And then beneath that, guys, have your medics. Have a support system within your business. Uh, as long as the whole agency is well-structured and making a positive ROI, uh, you can factor in certain administration roles that do definitely support you know, your internal marketing, your internal branding, and certain areas and activities within the business that just need to get done that processes can't really handle. So overall, uh, what I'd love for you to do is take this, kind of calculate your own team, and see, you know, am I as profitable as I should be? Am I where I'm at? And um, I hope that you know, at the end of this video, you've been able to take away a bit more of a clearer structure as to how you might be looking at building out your agency and building out your team. If you like this video, leave a comment, uh, let us know what you liked about it. And if you wanna see anything else from us, please just let me know and we'll make those videos. All the best guys, see you in the next one.